What's going on guys? Brandon here and it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You're in Connecticut. It's about 85, 90 degrees today. High humidity, a little uncomfortable, but that's what the AC is for, I guess. Um, I'm super pumped. Fourth of July tomorrow. God bless America. <laughs> it's a great time. Have a couple beers, burgers and dogs. You know the drill and I hope all of you have a wonderful Fourth of July. I just wanted to come at you guys with a quick little haul video. Um, had a haul yesterday. I know I've talked in previous videos and also over on Rake and Profits channel about my want ads and that's how I uh, put out ads in certain Facebook groups in hopes to get leads on products to buy for my own collection and also to resell to fund that collecting. <laughs> um, I swear it never fails every time I shoot outside one of the neighbors comes out and starts talking to me. <laughs> what are you gonna do right? Um, at least we have good neighbors so I can't complain anyways what I was getting at is I've shared my want ads in that strategy um, another little tip I'd like to give you guys um, so say you're in Facebook marketplace and you're going through the listings um, what I like to do is find the people who are going to be having it or advertising for a tag sale who have large variety of items listed on marketplace or who have items similar to those that I'm looking for so like toys and video games but what I do is I go through the pictures see what they have and the volume of stuff and then I decide whether or not I want to message them and I ask them do you happen to have any older toys video game related stuff etc and honestly at least I'd say probably 50-50, 50% of the time I get a lead from it and end up finding some good stuff, whether that be, like I said, for my collection or to resell. So that's just another tip I wanted to give you guys about sourcing, just another strategy. You go on Marketplace, see what people are selling, and then based off that, you just shoot them a message. Hey, I saw your listing, just wondering if you had whatever you're looking for, if you're looking for vintage clothing or housewares whatever just ask because a lot of the times people are just looking to throw stuff away and clean out their house um, and you really never know what you're gonna find um, and that's where this haul comes from so I'm about to show you this haul that came from me asking questions the woman had a bunch of pottery and cookie jars listed so really not my category but I saw the volume and potential and I asked and this is what I got check it out so this is the haul guys um, like I said, I paid $135. Might sound high to you, but we'll get there. Don't you worry. Vintage Fisher Price. 1980. <laughs> Can't speak. Sorry. 1982 Metal G.I. Joe Lunchbox. No thermos, unfortunately. It's actually a bar of soap. Sculpted to look like Goofy. Pretty cool. Um, I keep picking these stupid things up. I don't know why. They don't sell very well. <laughs> These are the little compact play sets. If I can open it. There we go. They're supposed to have little people. These ones don't. Um, this is a Beauty and the Beast Bendums. It's rubber and bendy. Um, little Big Bird action. A couple early 90s Hot Wheels. They were just thrown in, kind of. Toxic Crusader. Not very popular. Turtles, always popular. These are old play school, this little caveman and dinosaur, that's play school. Um, we got California Raisins, a couple new in package uh, Flintstones items, and then just a bunch of little, let's see, who's this guy here? This is um, this is actually a Subway toy. I usually don't pick up Happy Meal toys, but this is guys from uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Oh man, Yosemite Sam. This I believe is a old Oh, what is this? I forget what line that is. Early Littlest Pet Shop? I think it's too early. Could be a knockoff of that, or uh, maybe it came out before that. If someone in the video wants to let me know, it'd be greatly appreciated. This is cool. This is a 1987 uh, Burger King cheeseburger playset. Look at those realistic onion rings. There are a couple fries in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, these little shoes are cool. There's little Tomy wind-up shoes. And they walk. It's not a level surface, but you get the idea. 
Um, and then I've told you in other videos to avoid Happy Meal toys, but like I always say, there's always an exception to the rule. These are the old transforming ones. Um, series one here. Um, these are all robots. They have robot faces and like weird faces. <laughs> um, this one came out in 88. It's the first time they did the changeables. There's more to the set. I don't have them all right here, but then this is the 1990 version and these ones are all dinosaurs. So they all turn into whoop, little dinosaurs. And also with this set of the dinosaurs, they had ones for kids three and under, so they, they look like little baby dinosaurs. It's just all one piece, so they can't swallow it or anything crazy. Um, and then they had another one. This is the newest. Uh, there could have been more after this, but uh, the next one, this, these are 1993. And they, they this is when they started like trying to do health conscious. Like They have a carton of low-fat milk working out. It's like the Richard Simmons era. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then these um, original Mario ones, they're uh, they're usually pretty sought after as far as uh, Happy Meal toys go. Um, I find these to sell better than the originals, so the dinosaurs do well. People love dinosaurs and love Transformers, so that's that. Um, obviously, best to sell them in a whole set, and always do buy it now with these. Don't do an auction. Just uh, go look at the comps. Um, you'll do pretty well on a full set. You're looking at upwards of 30 bucks for a little Happy Meal toys, which you can get for pennies. So definitely worth it. And then there's another little surprise here. Not just a G.I. Joe lunchbox, but a bunch of turtles and a knockoff Lennard uh, G.I. Joe. Lennard is a company that makes figures that look like G.I. Joe's, but they're not real. Um, so we have a bunch of turtles in here. And what's cool about this Cave Turtle Leo is he also came with his trusty Triceratops sidekick, which is pretty cool. I know what you're thinking. Why would you pay 135 bucks for this lot? Well, because this stuff's all cool, but the money item is right here. So this is from the 70s. It is a uh, lawn boy is a lawnmower company, very popular in the 70s and 80s. Um, eventually they were bought out by Toro, but they still put out mowers under the Lawn Boy name today. This is a promo toy mower. It's a Lawn Boy Junior. Um, it's pretty cool. It says just like, looks like dad's. So that'd be for a kid and he could, uh, pretend he's mowing the lawn with dad. It is completely sealed. Well, I don't want to say completely sealed. It is, it is new in plastic. Um, I say that because there's little spots that are... This corner's ripped open, unfortunately. I'm still gonna... This is a piece that I probably won't keep. Um, I don't really have room for it. Um, but this came with... When you bought a full-size mower, this was a promo. So I hear it's super limited. Um, businesses only got like a handful of them, if that. Um, and people used to go in and ask if they could get just this. And they just couldn't do it. They, they only got um, five or six of them. And they were going like hotcakes. So they're hard to find... Um, comps are few and far between really, but the, um, I saw the most recent one. I forget what auction site it was. It was not eBay, um, sold for 250 sealed. Um, this one's sealed, but like I said, it's open. It's in beautiful condition though. Um, I'm hoping for at least 200 on it. So that's how I justify spending one. It's actually $133 I spent because I only had three singles, but um, overall great day. Cool little haul, nice mix of stuff. My favorite piece is probably the Burger King set. I love it. It's, uh, from 1987. And I think it's cool because, uh, Stranger Things 3 comes out tomorrow. And, um, Burger King had been doing, uh, the old school advertisements with the upside down Whopper and stuff coinciding with Stranger Things, which takes place in this time period. So it was, uh, cool timing on that. But, Hope you guys enjoyed. Have an awesome 4th of July, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.